I'm uh, here with uh, the Black Dahlia Murders. Could you uh, introduce yourself and say hello to the band, please? I am Ryan Knight, and I play the guitar in the Black Dahlia Murder. Awesome. Um, how would you describe your sound? Um, I would say we are a melodic death metal band that has some American uh, death metal influence as well. Kind of mix the Swedish sound with the American sound. And there you have it. You have us. Um, how long have you guys been together? Uh, the current lineup? I'm, well, the current lineup has been together for only, <laughs> the current lineup that we have right now has only been together for a year. But the band has been around for uh, like over ten years now. It's been around I think I think we're going on twelve now. Wow. So uh, I've been in the band almost five. So. Um, who or what are your influences? Oh uh, man, there's so many. Uh, I mean, just as far as like guitar players, you mean like guitar players? Or yeah, just, yeah. You, you, like guitar players, I mean, I like everything from uh, dudes like, um, you know, the, the typical shred of people everybody like Paul Gilbert, Marty Friedman, Greg Howe, uh, you know, Richie Kotzen, and I like a lot of like stuff like, um, uh, let's see, Brett Marced, uh, Jimmy Herring, um, Brent Mason, uh, Danny Gatton. Um, let me think. Well, Guthrie Trap, or let's do the Guthrie Go Band, is a really great one. Uh, I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Everything from like country to thread to fusion, everything. Yeah. There's, I could go on and on and on. Um, what about the band in general? Like, who are the influences within the whole band? Um, let's see. Carcass, Death the Gates, uh, Intune, Dissection, Orbit Angel, uh, Darkane. Um, the Megadeth, uh, you know, earlier, earlier like Soil Work, earlier Metallica, um, you know, stuff like that. Awesome. Um, have you had any weird fan experiences? Uh, the weirdest one I can think of right off hand is we were in Australia one time, and this was before we had Alan, our new drummer, and this was before we had Max in the band too. And this kid had all our faces like tattooed across his chest of the last one. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty weird. Wow. Um, what pulled you guys to get the name uh, the Black Dahlia Murders? Um, I don't really know because I wasn't there when they named the band. I'm just assuming they, you know, it's a, it's a cool murder. Yeah. It's still sort of like an unknown mystery, so. I'm just assuming that, that they just probably thought that was cool. I can't really think of really any other reason. Uh, yeah, no um, any music videos in the works? Well, we just put out one for Go of Departure, which is the second track on the new album. Um, as far as any new ones, uh, I don't know of any that, you know, I'm not saying there's not going to be another one, yeah. but I don't, as, as of right now, I don't think there's... This editing's just on that. Yeah. Um, any embarrassing band practice moments? Band practice moments. Um, not really. Not that I can think of. I mean, there's stuff that happens, I'm sure, all the time on stage, but I can't think of either. You know, just like usually the embarrassing moments are when stuff happens on stage. You know, at practice, it's just kind of like standard. Big embarrassment. Yeah. yeah. Um. Er like coming from the actual um, name of the Black Dahlia Murder, do you guys uh, like pull any anything from like that area and that time into your songs? I'd say about the only thing is just maybe you know from stuff from the actual murder. I mean, there is actually there's actually a song that was currently written that's you know about the actual murder. Hmm. But other than like you know drawing, uh, I guess some. <clears throat> Influence from the sort of macabre elements that have to do with what actually happened. Yeah, that's, that's basically about it. Other than, I mean, as far as like the time frame, and everything happened in um, yeah. um, who's the strongest in the band? Uh, probably Max, our bass player. He like works out and big arm muscles and stuff. <laughs> um, who's the joker of the band? Uh. Probably Brian. We all have fun though, but probably, probably Brian. Is he the main, like, joker? Yeah, that's it. Um, 
If you were stuck on a deserted island, what two people would you want to be stuck with? It can be anybody on my head. A man. Any yeah. two people, huh? Uh huh? Well, one of them obviously has to be a hot one. So. Uh, I'm just gonna say, um, God, what's that chick from, what's that chick from the, uh, that chick from the Hunger Games? No, actually, I'm gonna say Jessica Biel. I'll be stuck with Jessica Biel, and, um, Oh, you're thinking of was that, uh, Jen, uh, Jen Lawrence. Yeah, she's great, too. Um, so Jessica Biel, and... I'd probably need someone to entertain me. Uh, someone actually, like, uh, in, a, in, a, in a past interview, actually uh, said they only wanted Snoop Dogg, but they only wanted him to, like, go out and, like, go out in the wilderness and then come back every so often and just, like, pull out a line and then go back. Yeah. That, that was a pretty good one. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I'll just say Dave Chappelle. He's funny. So. Jessica Biel and Dave Chappelle. Yeah, that sounds okay for now. That's all right. Um, if you could have any two items with you, what would what uh, what would you have? And they can't be like a bowl or anything to help you get off the island. Just any two items. Yeah. Um, I would have a bow, an arrow. Just so. a singular arrow. I can go for a clump of them. I can go for infinity arrows. That, there you go. And infinity matches so I can make fire. So there you go. I can make fire and kill shit. Why not? Done. Um, <laughs> uh, Kevin Testagrosa asks, what is your favorite sandwich? Chicken salad. Chicken salad. Yeah. Done. Easy. Um, I think uh, Stella Gaynor asks, um, it's kind of completely got nothing to do with music, uh, what do you think of the shows like Walking Dead and the current uh, uh, research of like zombie, like the zombie genre and like zombie games and stuff like that? Yeah. Would you ever get involved? Um, I mean, I think, you know, stuff, the zombie stuff is cool. Um, the Walking Dead, I've seen the first two seasons and I, I think it's really cool. I haven't seen the third season, but I've seen the first two. I think it, yeah, I like that show. It's cool. Um, would we ever get involved? Yeah, sure. Like, we ever got asked, you know, to, uh, you know, like, some, you know, you know, have our music on some of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, is there any artists, uh, artists or artists you'd want to bring uh, into an album or onto a song? Um, into an album or a song. I think it'd be, let's see, an album or artist. Like for me, since I'm a guitar player, I'm thinking about, like, you know, it'd be cool to have somebody do, like, a guest solo or two. Um, I think it'd be cool to have somebody like Marty Friedman or something like that to, to do, like, some solos or something pretty cool. Since that guy pretty much wrote the best metal solos I think that ever existed. What 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 what's with that quotes? Uh well I say well because they're I say they're metal solos, but you know, Marty Freeman, I don't necessarily he plays he's known for metal being in Megadeth and stuff like that, but I would hardly call his playing just like strictly metal, you know, but, but yeah. Um if you could like is there any artist you, uh, or band you, you really want to go on tour with that you haven't yet? Um, I haven't toured with. I would say we haven't toured with. We've never toured with Carcass. So that would be cool. We never toured with Abbey Gates. You know, these are like some of the bands that really influence the band sound, so you know, that would be pretty cool. Any, like... Megadeth would be cool. Uh, yeah, I was just about to say, like, any big, massive band. Yeah, 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 Megadeth, for sure. Metallica, everybody wants to do Metallica. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, Mega Megadeth Metallica, that's pretty good. That'd, that'd be a pretty good lineup. Awesome. Um, I've been Don. And he's been. What? Name. Oh, Ryan. I'm Ryan and I. I'm the Black Tiger Brother. Awesome. Thank you, Jason.